Okay, so let's look at the Alex topic called Interconverting Compound SI Units. So I've got the topic pulled up here and I've already copied it over to my whiteboard. So let's go over there and look. Here's the question. Grams per cubic centimeters. Please convert this to kilograms per cubic meter. Right? So we have sort of a picket fence already laid out for us. Let's let's pull that up. Right? Grams per cubic centimeter needs to go to kilograms per cubic meter. And I need to change the mass to a different mass and also the length or the, uh, cubed, which is a volume, the volume to a different length cubed. <clears throat> so I've got two, two little conversions here set up. So we'll put the numbers in last. Obviously, setting up the conversion is by far the most important. So first of all, let's go from grams to kilograms. Well, if we're going to go from grams to kilograms, we've got to cross off grams, right? And we've got to introduce kilograms, okay? And so I've got kilo here, and let's put kilo down here. I'll put that in green. If that's kilo, kilo means 10 to the 3, right? Okay, so that's so far so good. <clears throat> and then... Uh, my grams are, are crossed off, and I've got kilograms, which I want. So it looks like we've got to introduce uh, cubic meters. And it's got to be in the bottom, right? Because it's on the bottom over here. So let's put cubic meters here. Actually, I don't know the cubic centimeters to cubic meters, but I do know centimeters to uh, meters. So let's do that first. And we know centi means 10 to the minus 2. So I'm going to say 10 to the minus 2 right and so I've gotten rid of one of those centimeters but I need to get rid of all three and the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna cube it like that alright so I think we're ready to put our numbers in now it's 3.3 .3 times 10 to the negative 5 3.3 .3 times 10 to the minus 5 okay and uh, so let's bring let's in the cubic the grams are crossed off Kilograms are, in, are introduced. My cubic centimeters are here. Or rather, I'm sorry, I gotta cross those off, right? And my cubic meters are here. There's my cubic. There's my cubic meter. So I'm good with my units. All right, so let's bring the numbers down here. 3.3 .3 times 10 to the minus five. And let's bring this guy up top by making it 10 to the minus three. Okay, that's times 10 to the minus three. And let's bring this guy up top by taking it 10 to the minus 2. Oh, that was already a 10 to the minus 2. Sorry, we've got to make that a 10 to the positive 2. Times 10 to the positive 2, right? So we're going to get 3.3. And let's bring all these guys together, right? Minus 5 and minus 3 is minus 8. Plus 2 is minus 6. Times 10 to the minus 6 kilograms per cubic meter. 3.3 .3 times 10 to the minus 6 kilograms per cubic meter. Let's put that 3.3 .3 times 10 to the minus 6 kilograms per cubic meter. All right, hopefully that's correct. Crud. All right. <clears throat> All right, we got to go back and figure out how we got that wrong. I'm going to keep this video rolling because this is what this is very realistic, right? This this really happens. Oh, I forgot to cube that. Oh, I can't believe that. Look at that. That 10 to the minus 2, I forgot to cube it. This is really 10 to the positive 6, right? Because it's got to be cubed. Right? Every piece inside there has got to be cubed. Minus 6 cubic meters. I can't believe I made that mistake. That was my whole point of making a stupid video. All right, here it goes. So that's going to be positive 6. So 10 to the minus 5, 10 to the minus 3 is minus 8. Positive 6. Okay, that's going to be minus 2. Oh, man. Let's go minus 2. Recheck. Bam. Man, I don't even know what to say about that. 